do that one again. It's throwing me in the deep end, <laughs> yet again. Here we go. So block eight. Block eight is box baskets. So with block eight, I decided that I would do something that you've probably all seen before and thought, oh, that looks pretty neat, but maybe we've not done it before, or maybe you have. Yeah, here it is in all its glory. So it's a, blo a block full of front post stitches and back post stitches. So um, I find front post stitches really easy, back post stitches a bit challenging is instead of just a round of single crochet I've also included a round of half double crochet all the way around the edge as well because one the I couldn't actually quite get the block to be 12 inches if I added another band of front post or back post stitches either side it was too big so and having one less made it a little bit small. So I thought, well, if I add a little border, and then I decided that, well, actually adding the border is better because then trying to have just the row of single crochet on the edge meant that this was actually quite thick, and then budding that up against some of your other blocks, it would be a bit chunky. So I hope you enjoy this block. It's not a difficult block. The only thing that can be a little bit challenging is doing your back post stitch at the beginning of the row. That can be difficult to master because you've got to get your hook around the post and it's a bit fine being getting your hook around a post when you've got nothing to put it around on one side. But hopefully the videos will help you with that. Don't forget we're here and um, I'm available on Facebook and um, you can always give the store a link. So good luck. Hopefully you can enjoy it. Okay. Okay, so here we are doing our box baskets, which is our block nine. So you can either work your chain and then go through and do your single crochets, or you can do your foundation double crochet row. Now to row three. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to chain two. One and then we are, so always remember that your chains don't count as a stitch and then we're going to start with our front post double crochet over the next four stitches. Okay, so because this does not count as a stitch, this is our first post that we're going into. So yarn over for our double crochet and put your hook towards the back and up through the front so that the post is at you. That's how you know you're at the front. So yarn over again, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and that's our first front post double crochet. We're going to do this four times. So yarn over again, underneath the front post, yarn over, pull through, and again, and we'll do that again. And that makes our fourth one. So now we're going to do um, a back post double crochet four times. So yarn over. So this time, if you turn your work slightly, bring your yarn up through the back and there's your post at the back of the work. Yarn over. Helps just to hang on to the top of your stitching. Pull through and do a double crochet. And we do that four times. So yarn over, in through the back of your work, so the post is now pointing out the back. And I can do your double crochet and we do that four times. Okay, now we're going to go back to the front. So yarn over. So we've done that one there and now we're coming up through the front. Yarn over and then do your double crochet. We do that four times. One all the way through to the end. Just keep alternating. Okay, so there's our four. Yarn over, so remember we want the post to stick out the back. So pull your, your hook in up so that the post is coming out the back. That four times. Let's go four and back to the front. Into the back again. I'll just show you slowly 
if you hold, because we're going to go around the post here, if you hold that chain in between, it gives you a little bit of sturdiness. So in, pop it through. So you've got something to hang on to so it doesn't swing around on you and then pull it through. Just that might help you a little bit. So that is one, two, three, four. So back to the front. Pour it back. Pour at the front. Okay, so that's the end of our first row. So you can see that our back posts are behind and our front's at the front. And that's all good. We're up to row four. So this is probably the only part that's really tricky on this pattern. So to do the back post double crochet, you're kind of going to be twisting up on yourself because we don't have anything to go around, so to speak. So what you do is you go in as if you're going to do a back post. So in the center and you're going to go round, kind of getting that side chain part area all caught up, round, your needle and pull it through into there, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. On the second one, we're going through the back post, which is this one here. So we're back into the easy part now. Yarn over, pull through and pull through. So what I will do, because that is a tricky bit, I'm just going to undo it and I'm going to show you again how we do that. Start our round with chain two chain, which we don't count as a stitch. So it, because we're not counting it as a stitch, this is the post that we use. So yarn over as if to do a crochet. To do your back post, you're going in, under, and around. So you're really twisting that first stitch to be able to start. Pull it through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, through. We work back again and then we'll just stand it through the back post. So up through the front and through the back and we do that four times. So four and then we do our four front post double crochets. So we've got one, two, three, four. Four. Now we'll go back to our back posts. Four front posts. Four back posts. So for your last back post, just it's another twisty, but not as hard as the first one because you're still going in and you're taking it around the back so you get a little bit of a twist but that's okay it'll come up good in a minute okay so that now is at the end of row four okay so you can start to see the pattern coming in nicely okay so now we're up to row five so we're going to turn our work and we're going to chain two remembering that our chains are not included in the stitch count then we're going to start with back post double crochets again. So it's yarn over. So this is the point that we're going into. So because we need it at the back, we're still going through the back, but we're just twisting it around. Yarn over, pull through. Bring that up there. Yarn over, pull through one, pull through two. Bring your work back again and then through the back post, so post sticking at the back. We'll do four of those. Then four front post double crochets. Four back posts. And then four front posts. Back post again. Keep alternating your four and four right through to the end. So you can start to see the pattern coming through now. 
Okay, so now we do row six. So we're going to turn our work and we're going to chain two. And we start with the front post. So that's lovely and easy for you, okay? Much easier because you want the post pointing up at you. So our first post is here. So around and over and up. Two. Second. So there's our four, and now we're going to do our four back posts. Oops. So this should be a nice relaxing block after the last few that you've been doing. That's it at the end of row six. And then you've got your pattern. So just keep going through and that's all you're doing, just repeating each row as you go, as you go along um, according to the pattern. You'll do two, two, two rows um, and then it'll, it'll swap again on you and that's how you get the lovely basket tree look. So once you've done your block and you've completed all your rows, you'll do a single crochet right around the block like you normally do and then you'll finish with a half double crochet around the block. So you get it lovely and finished.